Tilda Chapter 54, The Jungle. Later in the day on Earth, the Legion is going through a jungle, sitting in hiding, making everyone worried. They too feel sore and hungry, making them more eager to go and see the Titan Rans. Meanwhile, Dian is starting to sense more of his surroundings and start finding himself, but he also finds out he has no flight, making him unable to help the many planets that could do with his help. The flight being unavailable for now was caused by shutting himself off. He requires time to fully boot up after turning himself off. The Legion wonders about his lack of flight, and once Dian provides the answer, they all agree that Dian can stick with the Legion, Dian cannot help any planets yet. Dian also apologizes for all the havoc done to them. And he even sends a message to the president digitally to apologize for the havoc. Dian describes the situation earlier as if someone else had control of him, a small part of him knew none of this was right nor in his control. Dian is one of the wisest beings around. He can be trusted with the power he has, and it goes to show what he might have been used for if Torrid got his way. Every time they hear Torrid, it makes their stomach drop, knowing what he has done to the Legion, something which they can all share despite the issues. However, the surroundings that Dian can sense consist of some servicemen discovering the Legion, and so the servicemen start firing at the Legion. Each Legion member uses cover while firing their projectiles back, projectiles which will only stun the servicemen. But the servicemen do advance to try and arrest them sooner, except they need to shoot Dian way more to bring him down. The Legion also sees that the servicemen are using fatal lasers, confusing the Legion, and making them think that this is Retron's idea, they have to be careful. As the servicemen try and go up to the Legion, the Legion performs a collection of martial arts which is enough to take down a serviceman but without killing them. Nicole tries to fight alongside Mike but Mike tells Nicole to provide each other space, Nicole gets bothered by this. She nearly gets shot by a serviceman, she dodges it just in time and ends up fighting on her own while Mike goes to try and get nearer to Zami. Zami is the most over the top in this fight, zapping the serviceman to no end, even using a form of lightning that is too strong. Dian encourages Zami to lower the use of his power, comparatively, Dian uses none of his weapons, only using his strength to disarm the servicemen, throw any of them or take them down carefully. Yes, the servicemen are aiming to kill but Earth and humankind have been through enough, there is no need to kill them. Killing them would make things far more complicated than killing other aliens, especially when the Earth has one of the strictest collections of laws. This is where Mike tells Zami to start forming a vehicle, and Zami decides to form yet another awesome atone considering how familiar he is with his ship. He uses his cube abilities to start forming the craft while Dian defends Zami, with Mike and Nicole fighting the servicemen on their own, allowing both of them to be more focused. Mike however gets a painful bodily strain, making him kneel, and Nicole tries to get him up, but thankfully, Zami has completed the craft and starts it up. He even Dian decides to use his machine guns lightly to scare the servicemen away, allowing Mike and Nicole to get onto the craft, followed by Dian as the awesome atone starts rising from the ground, and zooms away as the servicemen try and fire at a craft which Zami can instantly repair using his cube powers. Mike is feeling better, saying it was a muscle thing and they act on their plan to go and see the Titan Rans. Not to mention they all criticize Zami for being the most harmful during the fight, and Zami acted this way because of how against the Legion the servicemen have become and taking his anger on others. He may have become more independent but he still feels like he can't rely on others at the same time, feeling angry towards everyone. After Zami explains this, Nicole nearly becomes frustrated but Mike tells Nicole to calm down, even then, Nicole wonders why Mike is letting go of Nicole. Confusing Nicole in a stressful manner. Dian then helps calm the situation by stating that they can forget about the Earth for now and enjoy being with the Titan Rans considering how they will be more welcoming, therefore making everyone happier, which makes everyone less stressed and calm. And so everyone sits in silence. Nicole starts sleeping, Dian analyses the universe and even Mike looks back on some of his old memories of him with the Legion and even past times when he was much younger with the President and Retron, being the top heroes in his time. Mike looks through these via his collaptor, with all of his photos being digitized. But as this journey gets going, Dian senses something in Mike that seems concerning, but if the Titan Rans can heal, then they will all be fine from the prior two fights. Going back to Retron. He got his servicemen to hunt the Legion no matter what, 
even trying and find them out of space via vehicles or satellite activity, which will not be made easy considering Zami has helped ghost all their collaptors and even Dian himself. Also not knowing that the Legion has already left Earth. Something which Retron prefers, makes him keener to use the planet-striking weapon, not bothered what planet he will strike. When the president and other politicians later ask what will be done with the Legion Retron lies to them saying that they will be arrested if they come back to Earth. Not knowing Retron was keen to kill the Legion. He had come up with the idea of why the Legion had been killed by the planet strike, Retron can say that it was to prevent another Earth-threatening threat. Both the servicemen as well as the president with their politicians have been sharing their thoughts about the Legion, both are mixed. Some agree with Retron but others believe that the Legion can only do their best against significant threats. They are also not far from humans after all. But some servicemen have been anxious that they are back in the forefront of security again, no Legion means more pressure on them. Most servicemen are even worried about losing their jobs to the new Retron defenses. Something which the president and politicians consider even if the defenses sound like a good improvement, the Legion still has the variety and is even able to leave Earth which the new drones cannot do. So at the moment, making any space threat not reach the Earth next time depends on what the threat is. Even some from Earth and even other planets used to like the merchandise and what the Legion did for culture. But that diminishing does make the Earth go into a time of insecurity, worried about the Earth state with no icons to stand by. There is Retron but he is old and has some questionable motives, the Legion is more flexible with what actions they do for others. Whenever Retron's age is mentioned, he does get triggered, thinking that age shouldn't be an excuse. Retron compares himself to the likes of Pod who is way older than him, so Retron won't be having a retirement anytime soon.